Okay, I'm crawling through. The shovel's there, yeah. Okay, you can start recording. What are you doing with the sponge there? I'm using it to help me. In what way? To make sure that it's nice and moist going all the way to the top. <laughs> Why do you keep dripping water inside? That's so that the fluid helps keep the wheel in motion with the clay so that it's nice and slip, s s slick. What you making? I'm making one of my forms. This out on the inside. Here. You're actually squishing it or are you just making it even? I'm compressing it by three points with my fingers. Before I work with the slip, you're making a mold with that plastic thing in your fingers. I'm using it to compress and alter the shape so that it has a nice clean look to it. Get it a little moist so that I can put the slip on a little quicker. Okay, I got a shouted out belly, but that's all right. So now I'm putting a pink. When it's all said and done, it's going to be pink. I have white, I have a, a lavender, and then I have a black also for this uh, terracotta clay that I'm using. I usually do most of this work in porcelain, but over the time with the experimentation the past couple months, I found that it's good to have a variety. So I do porcelain, terracotta, and the speckled up stoneware. This is adding color on top of the, the red so that when I put the the glaze on it, which will be a clear, 
it'll be shining and show the hand process. Okay, now I'm going to do some blue lines or this lavender line. do a couple black dots. And then these black dots are going to have a white center to them. Okay, that's done. Smile. Do this one. 